Okay, so the next thing we need to do is build the playing pieces. To do that, we're gonna sketch them out. Um, the first piece we're gonna make is the handle for the magnet. Let me show what it looks like over here. So basically, it's this little cylinder here with a hole in the top where this magnet fits down into it. This is the piece you hold under the board that you move around that makes the piece on top of the board move with you. So to build this, what we're basically gonna do is create a sketch on the ground, draw a circle for that, and then extrude that circle up and then just cut a quick hole in it. All right, let's get to it. So to do that, we're gonna do a sketch. We're gonna choose the bottom face down here. We gotta rotate around so we can see it. This is the bottom plane right here. Um, and then next to the board, let's go off to the left here. We're just gonna draw in a quick circle anywhere. And this circle needs to be in diameter 1.5 centimeters, so 1.5 centimeters. That's the size of our cylinder. I'm gonna zoom in here, and now I'm just gonna extrude this cylinder up, and I'm gonna extrude it up seven centimeters, enter. Last thing I'm gonna do is create another sketch on its top face here, and draw a circle centered on it, so I see that circle, I know I'm centered. I'm gonna come out here and do it as one point, one five centimeters that's the diameter of the magnet enter it's actually a slightly bit more diameter to give us some um, wiggle room maybe it will work first time we're going to extrude this down the length of the magnet which is 12 point or 1.275 1.275 centimeters and i want to go down so i should have put negative there perfect enter that is the depth so that's our little handle easy as that it's all ready to go so that's playing piece one the next playing piece we're going to make looks like the paddle this is the part that sits on top of the board um, and then when you move your hand around it moves with you so we're going to make it and it's going to look like this when we're done now to do this we could build it in this sort of complicated way with um, doing a cylinder and then trying to do a cone on top and all these other things. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to imagine what's the outside shape of this. We're going to draw a little rectangle for the outside shape, go over, over, and then into a circle. I'll show you. And then we'll take that profile and we'll revolve it around. And instead of cutting, we'll create stuff. It's a cool pr procedure. Let me show what it looks like. Back over to Clask. This time we're going to need to create a sketch on the face, whoops. I'm gonna actually hide my box and my table and the brace. And maybe I'm gonna throw the brace, actually let me throw the brace into the table folder. So grab it. Why can't I do that? Oh, because I'm in something else. Control Z. I just undid whatever I just did last time. I'm gonna take the brace and drop it into the table folder and then hide the whole table and hide the storage box. And now I'm gonna create a sketch and I wanna be on this face here, this front face. I'm gonna go next to this handle and I'm gonna try and draw that out. So the thing I'm gonna draw is gonna start somewhere. It doesn't really matter where. It's gonna go over a little bit. It doesn't matter how far. We'll put the dimensions in in a second. It's gonna go up some. Oh, sorry, I grabbed the rectangle tool, escape. I want the line tool. So start here, it's gonna go over some. It's gonna go up a little bit. We don't know how much yet. It's gonna angle in a little bit. It's gonna come up to here. And then escape up here, there's going to be a circle. And let's make the circle 0.7 enter and then down here there's going to be a line maybe I should have started that line earlier okay let's just undo all that I'm gonna hit control Z a few times until all those lines kind of go away um, I'm gonna actually start with the vertical line so I'm gonna go here and come up seven centimeters again that's plenty big enough that'll let me uh, find some stuff now the top of that seven centimeters, I'm going to do a circle for the ball. 
and I'm going to do that at 0.7. Enter. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to finish off this line up at the top. So I'm going to grab a line tool, click from the center of the circle, straight up until I can grab, there it is, right on that line right there. Awesome. And now I'm going to come down here with the line tool and I'm going to go over. And maybe we'll put the measurements in right now. So we need to go over, let's do 0 0.8, 0 0.8. Yep, that'll work. And then I'm gonna take my line tool and I'm gonna draw up from here 1.3 centimeters, enter, and then I'm just gonna drag this tool to there. And where on there exactly, it doesn't really matter, it just needs to look kind of nice to you. Um, that's where it's gonna come in at. If I need to move it and hit escape, I can click on the end of this line and kind of shift it out and around wherever you want to have it. Um, and this is too tall. Let's do this down to five centimeters. I think that's probably better. And I'm going to move this line out just a tad, maybe. Too much. Never mind. I don't like the way that looks. Awesome. And now I can do this revolve thing. Watch how cool this is. So I'm going to finish my sketch. I'm going to do the revolve command. I'm going to choose this and this. And the axis I'm going to revolve around is this line, and it's going to revolve it for me real fast. And I'm going to say OK. And I don't like how that looks. It looks a little too chunky in here. So I'm actually going to go right click on this sketch, edit sketch. Um, I think I'm going to take this point. I'm going to delete this line. I don't like that straight line look. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to add another line in here, kind of steep, and then one that's kind of vertically in here like that. Awesome. I'm going to finish the sketch, and it's going to revolve out a little differently. And that, to me, looks a lot nicer. I could make this neck a little smaller, but when you make it smaller, it gets weaker, the connection. So it's maybe not always a good thing to do that. Last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a hole in the bottom of this for that magnet to go onto. So I'm going to click a, create a sketch here. And I'm going to do a circle, open up this one, and this needs to be 1.15 centimeters. Enter. I'm going to extrude this, and this one's going to be extruded to 12.7 or 1.275. Oops, and again, I wanted negative. I made that mistake twice in a row. Awesome. So those are my two gain pieces now. Those can be printed on the 3D printer. You know what? This is it gonna it should bridge. I'm a little nervous about this flat top here being able to print well. Um, I guess what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna control Z and control Z. I'm gonna get rid of one more time. So now I'm back to my just my last thing with my revolve. I'm going to right click on this edit sketch and I'm actually going to build in, yeah, I'm going to build in a rectangle here for the magnet. I'm going to, I'm going to cut it in this way. So watch this. I'm going to make my rectangle, um, my width should be 0.575. Tab, and my height should be 1.275. Enter. And then when I hit finish, I need to modify my revolve, so edit feature. Um, I'm going to take away the axis work so I see what I'm doing. I don't want this, so I'm going to undo that. I just want this and that. And I'm going to revolve that shape. And that's going to give me that spun around shape. My axis is back to this one, and that's OK. And now when I did that, I get, oh, but I didn't want to do it that way either. That was not the point. I didn't change anything. So I'm going to edit my sketch again. 
Sorry, I'm getting a little loopy here at the end. Um, I'm actually gonna take a line like diagonally like this. Doesn't really matter what angle or anything, just like that. Not quite as steep as this side, but pretty steep. Um, and then I'm going to say finish sketch. Again, I have to edit the revolve because I want to select different stuff. Get rid of my profile. I actually want this profile and that profile now. Whoops, let me get rid of the axis, I guess. I can now select as many profiles as I like. That's what I want to have. I want this shape, the hole to be that shape instead. My axis is this one and OK. So that's my next one. Awesome. The only thing that's important is the width of the hole needs to be what I gave you because that's the magnet that's going to fit in, the width and depth of those two holes. One last piece to create. Let me show you what it looks like. It is the scoring disc. It looks like this. So it's a little disc with a lip on one side that can be moved around. All right, let's build that last one out. So on this one, we're going to create a circle and extrude it out towards us. So we want to be on the front face. So I'm going to create a sketch. I'm going to create it on this front face right here. I'm going to go off to this side of them. I'm just going to drag anywhere up here. I'm just going to drag a circle and I think I've got to check. I didn't write that number down. Um, I'm going to turn on the table real quick. I'm going to do a quick measurement just to see how big this slot is so we don't make our disc too big. So I'm going to do a measure. I'm going to measure from this end to that end. It's 3.5. So let's make the, the puck that goes in there a little smaller. Let's make it 3.4 centimeters in diameter. That will give us, or maybe 3.3. 3.3 we'll use. That way there will be a little bit of play. Nothing has to be perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the front. And over here, and I'm going to say, I want a circle that is 3.3 centimeters. Boom. I'm going to extrude this out. And I'm going to extrude it out one thickness, which will work perfectly to fit in the slot if everything prints perfectly. But maybe it doesn't print perfectly. So I'm going to do this minus 0.05, half a millimeter. So now it's going to be a little bit more narrow than that hole. It'll fit in better in case things aren't perfect. So thickness minus, yeah, 0.05. Awesome. That's that first part. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to build off a fun little detail. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to take a line across the middle point here. And create point. I'm going to try it right here on the center of the circle. I'm going to create that point. I'm going to do a coincidence. I'm going to make this line coincident with the center of the circle. Now it's through the middle of the circle, right through the middle. And then I'm going to extrude this top one out. Uh, I want to do it out a... F Whoa, what happened? Extrude this top part out. TH for thickness. And again, I want to do a minus, this time I'm going to do a minus 0.1. So there's my scoring puck. I want one last, <laughs> I'm going to hide the table. One last thing I want to do is I just want to t uh, taper the edges to make life a little easier for me. So I'm going to go up here to modify, chamfer. I'm just going to chamfer those two circles. And I'm just going to do it by 0.1 just knock them back a little bit. Okay, hit home. And that's that piece. Wait up! So you need two sets of these, one for each player, um, and then you need your class table. At this point, I, pr I think the build is totally done. I want to say I promise the build is totally done, but I can't say 100% for sure. I may have forgotten something, but that looks like it's done. At this point, we just need to now flatten out the plywood pieces 
and then group the plastic pieces and then print the ones in the 3D printer that are plastic, cut the ones that are plywood, and then assemble. You are getting close to being done modeling. Good job sticking through the whole thing.